We've analyzed hundreds of unknown foundation bridges for SCOUR. Unknown foundation bridges mean bridges that have limited or no pile driving or foundation records. Now to do a proper stability analysis of those bridges, you need to get a good estimate of the embedment of the bridge foundation below the scoured mud line, below the ground line, because that determines the amount of support the soil can give to the bridge during a 100-year scour event, for example. In order to do that, we've used different methods. Some are geophysical, such as parallel seismic and other NDT methods. But we also developed as an AIRS team, in conjunction with other knowledgeable geotechnical engineers, methods, analytical methods that you could use from your desktop to combine your knowledge of the bridge characteristics, the specifications for design and construction that were in effect at the time the bridge was originally constructed, in addition with your combined with your engineering judgment, and some finite element modeling of the whole system of superstructure and substructure to get a good estimate of the embedment of the foundation. Another area that we spearheaded at AIRS is the integrated bridge load rating in combining with the geo geotechnical information. People and engineers tend to not focus as much on what is underneath the bridge. They look at the beams, the bridge deck, when trying to determine bridge load ra rating, but traditionally, the substructure has been neglected. What we have again promoted and spearheaded was adding the substructure load rating to the superstructure as a whole integrated bridge load rating because the substructure and the soil foundation system can be the weaker link and it could actually control a bridge load rating. And now DOTs are paying a lot more attention to that as a result of our efforts.